okay while climbing up the mountain because I'm cutting a trail where there's um some other bananas uh, my brother tells me that my father brought this uh, flower once look at this uh, it has uh, the smell of rotten bananas and it looks like the seeds are in here uh, it has like cups so I already know this plant has to be where the soil is like very wet and moist uh, really rare plant like I said it has the smell like uh uh, cantaloupe when it's uh, rotting or bananas when it's rotting that's the smell it has so Lewis out if I could go up there again uh, to record the plant I will down there is where I cleaned up I came up through the mountain right through here and this is where I found the looks like huge bird of paradise Look how big these flowers are. Those are bigger than my hand. Okay? Those are bigger than my hand. Huge. Uh, and you see these right here? All this right here is banana. My father used to come up here. I don't know if he had like a little trail or something. He must have came in through here because this is too steep. This is like really steep. Okay, I've cleaned most of the plants. Let me just cut this right here. I saw this right now. Uh, that right there, see all the leaves, the old leaves, the old plants on the floor. Uh, that prevents the, the grass and the weeds from growing. So that's natural mulch on the floor. Yeah, but look at this. Got rid of a lot of weeds from these plants. And I cut a lot of the shrubby trees that were robbing these plants uh, from sunlight. Now they're actually getting sunlight. So this uh, that was literally producing in the shade uh, will start now producing even more see you could actually see the sunlight this was completely dark in here so I'm happy with what I'm seeing uh, little by little I'm gonna keep on cleaning I'm gonna cut all that back to the creek and uh, yeah, look how good I cleaned up these plants. This one still needs a little bit more cleaning. Uh, but even check this out. This was one that I actually chopped and look how the new shoot just comes out. Yeah, I've cut this whole section back. Uh, I'm going to cut all this right here and clean up that plant. But uh, that's going to be tomorrow. I've been busting my ass. There's a couple of plants in here. You can see the shoots uh, up right there. There's one over there as well. Uh, I'm going to be cutting all this arrow root down. This stuff comes up like really quick. So whatever comes up uh, near over there could stay there but if it's around here it's all getting cut down so Lewis out I want to put the hanging tent I found a huge widow maker so I would have to get rid of that clean up that area make sure that big widow maker just falls to the ground uh, then try to remove it little by little but this right here is, looks like a nice 
uh, flat spot right here. I'm going to clean this out tomorrow a little bit. I like having a little bit of shade. Uh, all this is mango right here. I already checked out this tree. It's completely healthy. Uh, no widow makers underneath here. And it's light branches. So, yeah, maybe around here. I might set up a tent tomorrow, but I'm going to bring a rake and clean up real nice. Uh, and this is where I have the cantaloupe and the tomato. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Okay, so Lewis out. Okay, this is a spot that I cleared out right here. Uh, this used to be like that. Let me just go over here so you can see. That was like that. <laughs> uh, this is where my father's crossing, old crossing is at right here. Uh, where the big mango tree is at. Uh, this tree seems to be very healthy. So I have no problems uh, camping out here. This I might remove. But there's a, there's a bit of potential here to, you know, to start maybe camping down here. Even though I would like to camp more that way where the trees are at. The only thing is that where the trees are at over there, there's a widow maker. And, uh, and that's a huge widow maker. So I, I have to take it down. Uh, but I want to start you know at least coming down here a bit more often you know uh, start using the property a bit more uh, so yeah I think this is gonna be a nice spot here uh, probably to set up a tent so I do have uh, some old camping gear here this is the tent that I had uh, on my inside my bug out bag uh, but the reality is uh, I already built a shed I had this tent just in case there was an earthquake I had to leave the house or whatever so you know that's what that tent was for to make like a little camp right but I already built a proper shed in an emergency uh, I'm gonna be putting a air mattress in there uh, and I could, uh, you know, just in case I did have to leave the house, I built that strong enough. You know, that's way better than a tent. There's power in there. There's a TV in there. Uh, later on, I'm going to get like a small one of these little portable toilets for inside the prepper shed as well. So uh, I'm going to be using this gear down here. So this gear right now for me is obsolete. I don't need this gear. Uh, even though I will be upgrading, um, I will be probably getting uh, one of these uh, tents that you hang up on the trees. I would have to clean up around here and see. See, I got a good tree right here. Got a good tree right there. I got the mango tree there. That would be great if I would have had a tree around here. But for now, uh, just a regular tent for now. Now over there, if I take down some trees, I can leave the, uh, the, the three strongest trees for a camp. So uh, I'm going to call this, since I'm in a banana field, I'm going to call this Camp Banana. Okay? So loose out. This tent is pretty basic. It's just two uh, tent poles crisscrossing an X. So... Now I'm just putting these in. Get it stretched out as good as possible. It goes through the ring right here. Oh, that was easy. The other side had like a huge rock in there. So it was a little bit funky. Pull this sucker tight out that way. Let me do that with this. There's a rock right there, but that's okay for now. Yeah, 
doing this with one hand is no good. Okay, there we go. Stretch it out nice. That way you have a nice amount of, oh man, a rock right there. Yep, there's a huge rock right there, but that's okay there. Uh, you see the soil? Uh, there's a creek over there, and this, this area here actually... The water here comes up to about here, like in storm season. You see these exposed roots? The water will come up pretty high around here and it'll get like wide. Uh, but that's during storm season. But this right here, the reason this doesn't go is because you see this right here? This complete soil is just full of these rocks. See these rocks? Just full of them. Let me continue. Let's go as wide as possible there. Wow, this is just full of rock. Oh, found a hole. Yeah, but it has a rock right there. I'll just leave it like that for now. Like I said, this 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 complete soil here has a bunch of rocks uh but the rocks are actually oh that one has a stake already that means i could probably pull that one out you stand that up there we go yeah. oh there we go get a rock or something to try to hammer that sucker in yeah no but that's not gonna go in there's a there's a there's a solid rock right there yeah look at, look at that it won't go in this is all rock here I said this is full of rocks there's no way I'm gonna be able to hammer a lot of these stakes in oh found on the oh on the good spot right there I'm gonna have to fish around see if I could angle it different but uh it's El Cheapo tent it has one more tent stick there I don't know what that's for It has like a little space here, I think, for you to put your, in uh, your shoes or something. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's it's an El Cheapo tent. It has a rain catch right there for, for the top that I'm actually gonna put in. Yeah, it's a Northwest. This is one of these Walmart uh, tents, but for camp banana, it's pretty good to start off. Okay, so Lewis out. The instruction says five inch, eight inches apart. So I'm gonna start with the rain fly first. Yeah, it's a little bit. Has a very strong smell. I'm going to put most of it where I know the tent will be more exposed uh, to rain. So, like to this side here.
got the whole tent sprayed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go again, but now just do the complete seam. of uh, the rain fly the seams of the tent and the closest area gets another shot of this stuff just because it's the closest spot to the floor I'll get cheap down there. This is where the rest of the stuff is going to... I'm not going to save none of this stuff. It's just all going to get used up. Because it rains a lot here. Okay, I did the front of the door. The seams. The bottoms again. So let me continue. Okay. One of the goals that I have. Uh, this is bullshit for now. Uh, this is actually something I had during Hurricane Maria. That worked very well. And still works. Okay. Uh... It's one of these little fan flashlight uh, 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 lights, okay? So it has a fan, it has a flashlight, it has a, a fluorescent light right there, uh, radio, okay? And uh, this little thing here uh, lasted all throughout uh, Hurricane Maria. It was one of the items that did not fail, believe it or not. And it still works, okay? So I'm going to be using this uh, temporarily or permanently for Cat Banana. Because I, uh, I want everything to be uh, sustainable down here, okay? Renewable energy. Uh, don't get me wrong, I have some other camp stuff that I will be using, okay? So let me just get in here and plug this in. This is a comfy, I don't know if it, it says two men, I, this is, this is more of a one man tent for me, but I'm inside the tent right now, and I'm going to plug this sucker in, here's the other side, you'll see an LED light here go on, I don't know if it's receding enough solar. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's that. Like I said, you see this thing right here? It's a little bit on the rusty side. So I gotta just like make sure it does the contact, but there it is. Okay. Uh, this right now, you see the little red LED? This is charging right now. Okay. So, and let me see. If, yep, it still works. And there you go. This is cheap, it's renewable, and uh, has flashlight and a fluorescent light for in here. Uh, and out here, if you, if you decide to do something stupid like this, make sure you leave a loop, okay, as a drip loop right there. Uh, it's hot in here, so what I'm going to do is, let me close this up. This has a window. Oh, here we go. There's the window type thing right here. I'm gonna leave this uh, open like this for now. I'm not gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna be camping down here for now. This is just me just playing around. Okay, I do like this for a cheap tent, and it has like a little place here, like to put your shoes or whatever. Even though I'm gonna put my shoes here in this corner right here. But yeah, I do like this. Okay, so Lewis out.